Hi, Justine again, and for this Therapy Tip Tuesday, I'm going to be discussing how you can use grocery circulars or grocery store ads to work on functional speech and language skills. Um, so there are a ton of speech and language goals that can be addressed when using grocery store circulars. I just used my local one from Stop and Shop that I just got in the mail recently. Um, I get them twice a week, so they are very useful because I come a lot. Um, you can work on attention by stating maybe a couple items on your grocery store list and then having your client, your, your child, your family member even repeat them back to you. For, for example, I can say I need eggs, bread, milk, peanut butter, and chicken. What did I need from the grocery store? Just to kind of work on that immediate memory recall. You can give them a recipe and the individual needs to look in the ad to find and determine maybe some ingredients required for the recipe, maybe if they're on sale or if they're not. You can provide a scenario such as you have $50 to create three meals using the food in this week's circular. Um, Scenarios like this can really work on money management skills, which are beneficial for adults as well as our children, uh, just learning how money works and how to manage it. Um, scenarios can also work on organizations. So looking through our circular, looking through which page first, what did I find that I need to create my meals? Um, it can work on problem solving. Well, I only have $50, but the food item I wanted was $25, and that means I only have $25 left to get food for two more meals. Um, it can work on critical th thinking skills, as well as executive functioning skills. So all of that organization, that planning. You can work on categorization by having the individual cut out images and then glue them into categories such as fruits, vegetables, grains, things that need to be in the refrigerator, things that need to be in the freezer, cleaning products, etc. So all you would really need to do for categorization is to have a piece of paper, put different categories. For mine, I just did two simple ones, fruits and vegetables, some scissors, and you would literally just cut them out. So right here on my first page, I have berries and I have cauliflower. So I'm just going to cut off my cauliflower and my romaine lettuce. And then I would just either glue or tape it into my vegetables columns. And then we can kind of discuss the differences between fruits and vegetables or the differences between cleaning items and things that need to be in the refrigerator or freezer. You can compare and contrast items in the circular or have maybe the individual describe an item and then you have to inference what it is. For example, I can kind of just say, um, it's in the condiment section, it is yellow, we like it a lot in the summer for barbecues and it usually goes with ketchup. So maybe they would inference mustard, which we would see in our circular, which is also on sale. Um, you can even do perspective taking. So give them a scenario or an example. You have $10 to buy some groceries for John. John really likes sweets, fruits, and Italian food. So what would you get John with your $10 that fits what he likes? Maybe it would be a cannoli because he likes sweets and Italian food or even maybe like a fruit tart. You can work on articulation skills by having your individual or family member find items in our circular that start with their target sound. So if you are working on, let's say, our, you are working on the ch sound. So right here we have cheese. And then they could just look throughout the whole circular to find other items that start with their target sounds. Um, so circulars are a really wonderful way to target speech and language and they typically come numerous times a week and they're free. So I hope you enjoy my therapy tip for this week and I look forward to seeing you all for the rest of the month of June. Bye!